Hi guys, this is Pestilli. Welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm talking about the priority keys for every single map, which ones are worth buying, which ones aren't, references to what's in each room, and uh, just covering everything that I can for each of these keys so you guys make an informed decision on which ones you want to buy. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So, guys, down below, there'll be timeline stamps for each of the actual uh, maps and which keys and stuff. So, if you guys want to skip to which key and if it's worthwhile going into that map and grabbing those keys, um, you'll be able to save some time going down there. But feel free to watch the whole video to get informed information on, on which keys are worthwhile for each map. But if you do find keys in the in the future, say in the, this wipe at least, um, I do update this video each wipe. So, I might give you more information on on uh, for the future wipes you might want to keep to the most up-to-date video for this. But... Um, let's get into this one here. So starting off, we have reserve. Now, there is a lot of keys for reserve and it's personal preference how you want to run this map. The way I run this map is I have two key tools and I put all the keys into these two key tools. Then I have a, a empty document case. Now, the document case is really good to have empty because there's over 40 intelligence spawns in reserve. I do have a, a guide to 40 of the spawns down below. But that was before the bunker came out. And there's about another six spawns inside the bunker as well. So it puts it to about 46, possibly 50, uh, up to 50 intel spawns. So every time you find one, you want to be able to chuck it straight into that document case. And you can find them very consistently. Um, so yeah, if you want to know more information for that, down below. But uh, going into the reserve keys. Now the orb 1, 2, and 3 keys. There is one of these rooms has the intel spawn. And I do believe it's the orb 3 key. Um, now... It's up to you if you want to get these keys. These ones mostly have ammunition. When BT ammo was really valuable, these were worth getting. I don't really think it's overly valuable right now to have these keys, unless you just want to supplement your runs or you go in squads into reserve a lot and you just want to make sure you get that extra bit of money from going into these rooms. You do find weapon parts from time to time that can be of high value though. Moving down, uh, this is in the bunker in the new area, the PK PM key. I have found a Holy Dilnik uh, case in there and also a med case in about 100 runs. So you've got about a 1 in 50 chance of getting something good. So for two of these keys, you might find one case of value. Probably not worth it. I wouldn't bother it. But if you do find one, you can hang on to it. And when you go past it, if you're looking for intel down the bunker, grab it and you won't. Uh, you, you can take advantage of that. Jumping over to the left-hand side here, SMP KSM. This is the med building. Um, so if you're going into the bishop building to get some meds, SMP and KSM both have a really good chance of having a lot of meds in there. You can find ophthalmoscopes, but I've never found a Ledex. There is an absolute mountain of people that said they've found it there, but I've never seen any proof. I've seen one screenshot that looks like it could be scuffed and it, it, there's no proof of it. Uh, if you guys know that there's a Ledex inside uh, KSM or SMP, Feel free to, to spread the, the rumors, but honestly, I've done this room possibly thousands of times now. Never found one. And I'm, I'm most of the people I reliably trust on finding uh, or giving me this information as well, never found one. Definitely worth grabbing these keys though if you run reserve a lot, because if you do run low in meds, bam, straight into that building, grab some extra meds, works really well. So I do like holding on to the SMP and KSM uh, on my runs. Now, the uh, RB PS8182, and the PSP 1 and 2. This is the like the cage bunker area underneath the train station area. Now, if you want to go into a run and just make some money, all four of these keys, loot the entire thing, get a mate to go hit the uh, the hermetic door bunker, run straight out while he's going to press the button, and uh, you can make a lot of money in these cages. Uh, definitely worth grabbing these keys, putting them in your keys hall, and having that there. Um, you find all there's multiple ration storage containers. Uh, the uh, was it technical storage containers, our supply crates, and also the medical ones. Definitely worth getting these keys. Um, you, they're not like high priority, get it straight away. But as you collect them, as you get more money, you definitely can make a lot of money from these cages. Now over to the RB, BK, TB, and OB. So for these ones, the BK is the marked room over in the pawn building. And then the TB is the cage just outside it, or the room just outside it, where it has uh, a fairly good chance of getting AKs in there. But there is a modded AK that you can get in there. So I definitely recommend getting both of these keys. The marked room for obvious reasons, just like a normal marked room. And the TB, you get the modded AK. And there's also heaps of suppressors and stuff you can get inside there. The OB, don't waste your time. There's meant to be an Intel spawn in there. I have seen proof of it. 
but uh, I've ran this heaps of times. I don't think I've ever found one, but I do find gold chains from time to time and some loose, loose cash. Personally, I don't bother with that one. RBVO and AO. This is the marked room over near the train station. So VO is the marked room. AO is the uh, room just outside it. And it has uh, AK spawns and stuff like that. Definitely worth grabbing both of these keys. Uh, if, you, if you spawn on that side, fight the people off for the marked room. And then you can get the uh, the room with the AK mods and, and AKs in there as well. Not a bad way of getting a little bit of money at the start of a raid. Next, we have the RBRS, RLSA, KPRL, and KORL. Now, the KPRL key is the up at the dome. All these are up at the dome, by the way. The KPRL key is the room outside the dome that has two safes in it and an Intel spawn. Grab this one. It is going to make you heaps of money. Two safes alone, usually around 40 to 50,000 rubles per safe. And then you get uh, a chance for an Intel spawn in there as well. So you're generally going to average around... 80,000 rubles from the safe, or oh, the two safes in there, and then if you get an Intel spawn, bonus 250k. Then the KORL room and the RS room inside of the dome generally are a bit hit and miss. You can find Intel spawns in uh, the RS room. The KORL room does not have Intel spawns in there, but it does have stuff like relays and stuff. Not really a big money maker, but the RLSA room is definitely worth going into. Uh, there's a new Intel spawn in there, and there's uh, all the you know, military cables and stuff like that. All those military spawns, the purple ones, all spawn in that. Grab that key if you get an opportunity. Definitely worth its money. Next, we're moving over to the King building for the RB, OP, and GN key. These ones are down in the basement near the bunker as you go down to the bunker. Um, the OP key is the one that has the two toolboxes in there. Can have a military tank battery spawn, depending on time of the wipe. Can be worth one and a half million. Can be worth down to 400k. So definitely worth getting that key. And then the GN key is the one that has, two, uh, there's technically two Intel spawns in there. I have found two Intel in there. Uh, if you grab one, you might as well grab both if you can afford it and you'll uh, be able to make some good money in there. Next, we have the RBAM. This one's down by the Black Bishop. This one has the, uh, it's in the bottom floor and it's got multiple of the signal communication transmitters in there that can spawn. Fire still spawn in there. A lot of people struggle to get them for the Kappa container. A uh, couple of toolboxes, I think three in total. You get the big air filters. There's an Intel spawn on the chair underneath the table. And there's a jacket. Big money making room. Grab it because if you go into that building to get the RBAK, uh, oh, you, there's the drop down for RBAK. I don't recommend buying the RBAK key. I don't even own it. But drop down, loot the RBAK room, then drop down uh, further and get the AM room. And uh, you'll make good money doing that. Lastly, we've got over the white and uh, black uh, night buildings. You've got the MP12, 13, 21, and 22. Every single one of these can spawn a military tank battery. That's the reason itself to get them. Uh, and then the 13, 21, and 22 can spawn Intels as well. So it's worth getting these keys if you go over to these areas a lot. Personally, I usually avoid it. I find that I die in these this area more than any other place in reserve. So I generally avoid this area, but it's definitely good for making money. There's lots of jackets, filing cabinets, and then obviously the Intel and tank battery spawns on top. RBST, which is just kind of connected to it. That one has the military tank battery spawn in there and a lot of the um, the 30 mil shells that can spawn in there. So you can get that one if you want. It's very expensive. I personally wouldn't suggest going out of your way to get it, um, but you can get some good money in return. Now that is reserve covered. Um, the, like I said, the way I do it is I pretty much put every single key inside the key tools until the key tools are filled. And then uh, from there, I'll pretty much just go with my docks case into the map and then uh, have the empty docks case. You'll find that you'll be able to put items in there like Intel and any of the uh, SSDs and stuff like that. And you'll uh, be able to, you know, grab some extra keys and put them in your key tools as well if you find them. But the, the docks case is seriously a money maker. The safes that you loot up at the dome, also down in the bunker, any of the cash or the, uh, you know, the flash drives and stuff you find in that or in computers, go inside the docks case as well as Intel spawns. It's just a great way of doing it. That's the way I do it. Now, moving on to labs. Now, this map isn't the uh, the, the map that everyone likes to go to because it can be very punishing. And as well as that, it's a lot more controversial when it comes to really good gamers with shroud socks. So these are the keys that I recommend and then keys that you can grab if you want to flex your money, I guess. So the money making keys that are going to honestly make you a fair bit of money consistently is pretty much the black key card and the management office key. And then if you can get your hands on it, is a green key card. They're pretty much the money makers for this map if you don't want to invest in a red key card. So black has a lot of stims in there. You can get up to about 12 stims in there. 
usually on average about four to six. Um, and then the management of this is just great. I found two Bitcoins in there the other day. Um, that's a million rubles just in two Bitcoins or 1.1 at the moment. And then um, you've got uh, other spawns that can go in there for um, your container, your Kappa container uh, quest, as well as there's an Intel spawn on the second desk. So it's just a really great key to have if you're going into labs a lot. Next, you've got the red key card uh, with the uh, Arsenal security key. They, they fluctuate between 35 and 60 million. Red key card is a bit of a flex, but at the same time, it does make you a lot of money. On average, you're probably making about 300 to 500k every time you go in there. So if you do a lot of labs runs, it can supplement your lab run and make you a lot of money overall. Um, but it's it's one of those things that when you get to the point where you're sitting on like 75 million like myself, just buy one. Like there's no point having 100 million rubles. It doesn't really do anything. Grab the key and then you can use it kind of thing. So when you go into labs, you can take advantage of that. The one key I want to just touch on a little bit more is that green key card. Now, if you do get uh, a green key card, which at the moment, it's only available via barter trades on the flea market because people don't want to pay the taxes. But um, if you grab, grab a green, green key card, there is an Intel spawn in there. There's a black key card spawn in there. And there's a Ledex spawn in there, as well as the Dfibs, Ophthalmoscopes, and all the other stims and stuff you can find in there. Massively, it's one of the best keys for the map really for making money so if you get a green key card hold on to it and use it in my opinion don't worry about trying to sell it if you go labs of course if you don't go labs then you probably shouldn't be watching this section because it's just i don't know, I guess ad additional information the last two keys i've got here for you are the violet and the blue key now the violet key is located just outside red room i would say grab one if you can get one cheap or if you find one just hold on to it it does supplement your red key card room runs when you go towards the red key card room and you can get um like rfids in there as well I have found lines and, and gold chains and rollers on the right hand side just as you enter so that does make you some money back and some of the mods like attachments you can find in there can actually make you some good money too some of the sites and um, pistol grips and stuff like that can actually sell the flea for quite a good bit of money lastly we have the blue key card now i would definitely not say buy this at all i would just say if you find one hold on to it but really the blue key card i can't seem to make money off this room at all it's like it has a lead export in there i've done probably 100 lab runs this wipe checking that room for the uh for the ledex haven't seen one yet and the reason why i always check that room is because outside of it is the green key card spawn so i go check the green key card and then quickly check the room for a ledex haven't found one this wipe in 100 runs so i don't know i wouldn't say getting it it would be a great thing there's not a lot of meds that you can get in there um it's probably about 15 to 20 spawns of actual spawns that potentially can be in there and generally you get about a quarter of them uh, and sometimes there's just, you know, splints and stuff. It is a handy one to have if you do zero to hero labs though, um, because you can get some more meds in there when you get in a, bit of, in, in a bit of trouble. You can run there, grab some more meds and top up on that side if you're struggling against Raiders and players um, when you're doing a zero to hero. All right, next up we have Shoreline. Now this one is a monster of a map. Uh, there is so many good rooms and if you can make it to the resort and hold it down, you can make a lot of money. So I'm going to try my best to explain it to you, but uh, I've just got the Shoreline Docs case here just to have a title for it. But for Shoreline, I usually just take in... Look, it, it can come down to a key tool and a Docs case because of how many safes are in there. That's generally the way I like to do it. Um, otherwise, you can just go in with a key tool and just take the keys that you want to use or a sick case because there's usually a lot of combat there and it doubles up as a Docs case. So you can go uh, sick case. But generally, when I'm trying to make money, I like to take Docs cases because of the actual extra items that can fit in there, like diaries and flash drives and stuff like that. Uh, Bitcoins, rollers, uh, not rollers, sorry, uh, Veritas's picks and stuff like that. All right, so starting on the West Wing, West 104, 1012. Both of these have blue key card spawns. There's nothing really else extra to say there. Small chance for a Ledex spawn in 104. I've only found one in a long time. So, you know, you might get one in there, but the blue key card spawn is the reason why you want to have 104 and 112. Jumping up to 205, 203 is also connected to 205 West Wing. Um, you want this key because there's a red key card spawn in there. Um, it's located in the 203 room. Uh, on the other side of the bed, there's a bit of newspaper on the ground, red key card spawn there, um, as well as a lead spawning 205 on the bedside table. So big money making room there. Jumping across to 216, you want this key because there is uh, Tetris spawns and graphics card spawns as soon as you enter on the left. It's also used for a quest and um, it's just got a lot, lot of just random spawns in there you can make money off. Jumping over to 218. Now 218, 221 and 222 on the West Wing all open up the same to the same rooms. Uh, they're all connected. 
there's a, a red key card spawn in 218 uh and there's just a heap of med spawns and other spawns that you can grab so 218 and slash 221 222 worth getting definitely uh just getting that all right west 219 now this one is uh required for a quest there's a generator in there you don't need to get this key though because you can get the west 220 key and just go to the window on the outside so i'd highly suggest this if you if you want 219 go for it the money value in there is not that great um but it is an alternative to getting the quest done if you don't want to get the 220 key but the west 220 key definitely worth getting it's got what i call a gold loot spawn in there um so gold gold loot spawns it's a, it's the box on the right hand side in the back corner when you enter and it can have rollers bitcoins horses lions cats all those golden loot items um can spawn there so definitely worth uh getting the 220 key and you use it for the quest on the outside as well jumping up to the third floor into west 301 this is definitely worth getting you'll see people rushing towards this room as there's a lead x spawn just as you enter and then also uh as you go through to the next room the actual main bedroom there's a lead x spawn in there as well so people will go crazy for that one and then west 306 this one is required for a quest but it has two dead scavs in there you can loot and a heap of med spawns as well the last key for the west wing is the safe 321 it requires you to go to the far other end and uh you can get another safe looted here so this is why i take the docks case because there is a lot of safes you can loot in this map and it can really supplement your runs because if you die uh, a lot of the stuff you get from safes can be kept in that uh document case and you you still don't lose that that value there now jumping over to the east wing before i go any further i want to talk about the storeroom or the health resort utility room key now this one actually does open up uh two rooms on the west wing on the far like as the entrance from the from the far end not the center but the furthest end, end out um there is on the second floor and third floor you can actually open up the uh the doors as you got the staircase directly in front of you from the uh, health resort utility room key that's why i recommend this key over the east i think it's 321 key no, 328 key east 328 key i recommend getting this key instead because you get both wings uh you get the benefit out of both wing both wings so with the east wing i definitely say get health resort utility room key you need it for a quest anyway for peacekeeper or you can use the east 328 key um and i have definitely found tetris is in there and potentially there's a lead x in there i can't remember off the top of my head but I feel like there is one and I'm sure I'm going to get corrected in the comments down below if I'm wrong. Now, jumping down back to the bottom floor. So East uh, 107, this one has a lead spawn in there. It's very low chance, but it, you, you do have med boxes in there too that can make you money. Uh, and as well as a Tetris spawns in there as well. Next to that room is the tape key. Now, this is also known as East 110. Um, it's got the ha blood hand mark on the wall. This is uh, required for a quest and inside there, there is lead spawns and it's just def definitely worth getting. You'll see people rushing for this all the time. So this is one of the first rings people will check before they go up to the next floor, which is the East Triple Two or 226 key. So people will grab uh, this key next because uh, there is a definitely a chance for two lead hexes. I've never seen three, but in the East 226 room, there's a uh, lead hex spawns definitely up to two that I found in one raid. And in the East Triple Two room, which is connected to it, you can find graphics cards up on the desk and there's a golden loot spawn in the box. Uh, just where you go into that little bathroom area so definitely grab this key it should be like one of the highest priorities for this map now i'm missing a key i don't have it on me but it's the uh the east 205 or 206 key now um this is a golden loot spawn inside there they're both connected one of them has two weapon cases and a loose ak spawn and some meds on the other one there's a golden loot spawn i definitely suggest getting the east 205 or 206 key and adding that to your list moving up to the third floor now uh, on the third floor, you can have East 306 or 308. They go to the same uh, rooms. They're connected. 306 is required for a quest, and there's four computers in there. A DVL spawn up against the wall. I definitely recommend getting this one. Um, you're just gonna make your money back pretty much straight away, and it's needed for a quest. East 310. This used to be called like the golden room for for, for resort. Everyone used to sprint there. There's a clip somewhere in the universe where of me, of me finding three bitcoins on the table. Hot my god three bitcoins three bitcoins <laughs> um you still can find bitcoins in there and stuff so east 310 usually fairly cheap grab that key it'll make your money back pretty quickly in there that definitely reduce the spawn chances in there though now east 314 um it's it's a room that can have a lead x spawn in there it's in the uh in the side room there's there's two rooms connected to each other uh, i think east 313 also unlocks it into the same area 
and uh, a lead spawns on top. And there's some weapon parts and barter trades throughout this area too. Now, a key I don't have on me is the East 316 key. You can grab this one. There's a med bag spawn in there. I personally don't really stress too much about it. But you can definitely get suppressors and sites in there. And that pretty much covers the East Wing. Now, I want to touch on the uh, the two keys here being the Health Resort Management Office Safe Key and the Health Resort Warehouse Safe Key. This is in the admin building. There's two safes in there. You can unlock them. Uh, you're probably going to go in there to check for red key card spawns and stuff like that anyway. So you're better off going in there, checking for the red key card, and you can loot the safes and the computers and all the other stuff around that area. I would grab these two if you've got the room in your container, in your docks case, or your key tools, or your sick case for these keys. Next, we have the cottage and the cottage safe key. Now, the cottage key is now used for a quest. You want to pick that up anyway. And if you're already in there and you're looting that safe in there, might as well grab the cottage safe key and then loot the safe inside there as well. Just extra money. A safe, I did like 500 safe runs recently. Worked out to be about 44,000 rubles on average. I think that's even higher now. So I would definitely say getting uh, every safe that you run past is worth it. I, I go out of my way for them. So yeah. The last key for Shoreline is the HEPS key. This one's for the power plant. Uh, it's it's You go inside the power plant, it's on the top floor. There is an Intel spawn underneath the table. So um, you can grab it. If you do go past the power station, you can check for it. Uh, and there is also some other spawns that you can find in there. I can't remember. It's like a weapon case. And maybe, no, I think there's two weapon cases in there as well. But it's worth checking for the Intel spawn if you're already going inside the power station. All right, so moving on to Woods. Now for Woods, there's really only two keys you need to worry about. The ZB014 key and then the Sturman's dash key or the Sturman key. So the ZB014, always hang on to this key when you go into woods um, as it's an extra extract for you if you spawn on the right side of the map for it. And uh, as well as inside there, plenty of med spawns and you can get 60 round mags. So if you're trying to get that quest done where it has to be found in raid, it can help with that if you're not crafting them in the hideout. The Sturman's dash key. Now I did 100 runs of this um, and I worked out the average value it worked out to be about a 1 in 25 chance or a 1 in 20 chance. I th found either 4 or 5 uh, Red Rebels in 100 runs. So, you know, it does pay for itself. If you're going to go Woods and you're definitely opening up the Sturman stash, I'm going to be, I'm going to have like a stutter or something with this one. I would highly recommend not taking your melee weapon. But then if you do find a Red Rebel, bam, chuck it into your, your scabbard and you don't have to worry about that. Same if you're killing uh, Sturman uh, for, say, the Hunter quest where you're going to kill him 25 times. I would have no melee weapon on. If you kill him, you might find a red rebel and you can also loot the stash and you might find a red rebel there. Um, so yeah, uh, it does have its value. You will make the money back if you survive the raid. So I worked it out. If you survive the raid every time, you would definitely make your money back if uh, and more, but you need to be able to survive that raid consistently. So be careful about that one if you're going to use it or if you're going to sell it on the flea market. Um, I would generally just say if you're not confident in your skill set, survive the raid and then sell it on the flea market. And if you die, then you can loot it on another run. Moving down to customs. Now, this is exactly the keys I take into customs, and I, this is how I love to do it. it. It's personal preference how you want to do it, but um, there are extra keys, obviously, and there is also um, quest keys that you're going to need to take. So take the quest keys when you're on the quest. After that, like I'm off, they're not really useful, um, but I'll go over the basic ones at the start. Factory key, there's a new extract that requires the factory key. I would highly recommend taking one in because it gives you that option to extract out of there if you get in the shit, you hit the lever, you run over there, you extract. It's very simple. It's in the middle of the map, it's just an easier way to get out. Marked key explains itself. It's it's like one of the easiest money makers. If you do find something good in there, uh, you can make good money. And yeah, marked key should be grabbing one. The the way the, the question I know is going to be out there is: Is it worth paying four hundred thousand or eight hundred thousand rubles for a marked key? I believe it is because if you get one run where you get say a key tool or a docs case, they generally do. Like you can put them in your container and you and they're safe you generally pay off that key pretty quickly so you get one or two runs like that you get the money back if you um loot the marked room or you're aiming to loot the marked room try and have seven thousand rubles on you so you can take the car extract check for the car extract see if it's there then if it is loot the marked room and then run straight for the extract and extract the raid uh, and make sure you got enough XP to make it not a run through, et cetera, if you want to sell it on the flea market. Customs office key, uh, you need it for a quest, so you should have it anyway by the time you're probably looking at these guides. But um, the customs office key has a safe in there. It's got an Intel spawn in the garbage bin as well with the safe room. And you can also, um, uh, what do you call it? There's also some computers in there and stuff like that. This supplements to run nicely if you're in that area. I def definitely recommend getting it. Now, the next keys, 204, 214, 105, 110, 114, all have safes in them. I've, I've already spoken a bit about safes in this video. 
but each one of these worth 40 to 50,000 rubles every single run um, that you loot those safes on average, right? So you got five keys, there's 200,000 rubles. If you loot all those safes on average, bam, done. And you'll get nearly every time enough money to take the car extract. So I take these keys in, I don't take 7,000 rubles in, and I'll get 7,000 rubles from these, uh, these safes, and I'll be able to take the car extract. And the 104 key just supplements 105 because it's right next to it, and it's got two uh, jackets in there and also a toolbox. So you actually get to loot a jacket and a couple, a couple of jackets and toolbox, and you get a chance to make some more money that way anyway. And then finally, the gas station key, which is the office key, and then the storage key, which is the room right next to it. The office has a safe in there. Very common. <laughs> I'm talking about safes a lot. And the storage key uh, is the room next to it. it. has two med bags in there. So it just gives you that extra bit of money. And I think it's just worth holding on to because um, you've got the room in the, in the uh, docks case for it. And I definitely recommend taking a docks case for this map just because of all the safes. But if you are going for PvP, potentially you could take a sick case and then um, and a dox case as well, or a dog tag case as well. It, it, it really comes down to how much room you want to take up in your container. If you've got the gamma container, the kappa, or your standard. Um, but if you've got a standard a, a container, just go dox case with all these keys. Say you didn't buy the marked key. I, I'm very confident after watching this video right now, you could buy every single one of these keys for probably 300,000 rubles. You'd have every single one of these. And if you were to loot all the safes and die, you'd make those 300,000 rubles back. If you took pistol, backpack, looted all those safes and died doing it, you'd have the money back for the keys. And you'd probably need about three to 400K to get a docks case if you don't have one. But two to three runs, you could have all the money back for, for buying these keys. And then every run after that's profit. I don't know. Take my advice. I don't know. I've only been playing this game a little bit, but I'm very confident. I love these keys. This is, I don't know why these aren't always sold. Like, like uh, when the people in playing customs, they don't have these keys on. These rooms should always be looted. All right, enough of customs. Let's move across to interchange. Now, interchange, very straightforward. It really comes down to how you want to uh, play interchange. But I like to take all these keys generally because of the fact that they don't really take up too much of the docks case. Um, now, starting off with the Ollie side of things. Ollie logistics key, you need for a quest. So you've got it anyway. Inside, there's a computer, which can make you some money. Um, for the rest of it, though, you've got the cash register key and there's the idea and the Goshen cash register keys. This comes down to a personal preference. I, I like to hang on to them. So, for example, if I want to go to the power station and take the car extract, and I'm like, oh, I might see the cars there. Before I go over, I'll just get some money and I'll just quickly loot the cash registers to get 3,000 rubles. Done. Don't have to think about that anymore. Now, the admin key and the uh, utility key, these keys aren't worthwhile. Don't even bother buying them. Um, if you want to get a little bit of extra money, there's a computer in one of them. The other one's got some barter trade items, but it's a very low chance of anything decent in there. Um, so if they're cheap or you find them, hold on to them. They don't take a lot up a lot of your uh, docs case, so it's fine to keep them. I've already spoken about the uh, the cash register keys, but the pharmacy key, which is out the front of Idea, down the staircase on the left, this pharmacy key is um, got one new. It's got a new Ledex spawn in there. It's, multiple people have been talking about it. So it's probably already gone up in value. It's probably going to skyrocket in value right now for me making this video. But there's meant to be a Ledex spawn in there. So if you're running into idea, you take a, a right before you go up the staircase. Quickly check the pharmacy. It's in the first room uh, as soon as you open the door, not the back room. Uh, it's meant to be on the left as soon as you enter. You can get yourself a Ledex in there. Feel free to do that if you want. Up to you. Um, but the pharmacy key is probably worthwhile grabbing now whilst there's a Ledex in there. And also supplements if you run low in meds. You've got an option to get some meds in there. Talking about meds. So we've got the med station, uh, or oh, med storage key, which is located outside Tech Light. Definitely worth getting this one. Ledex spawns, uh, the defibs and ophthalmoscopes. It's probably a barter trade at the moment. Um, when you, they do back go back to being purchasable, definitely pick up one, or if you can get one for barter trade. But yeah, um, it's probably a difficult key to grab right now. Um, the next one we've got is the mess key. Now this one's required for a quest. A quest so the Emicon key. Grab this one. You need it for a quest anyway. And it's got a Ledex spawn in there and also a heap of med spawn. So it's just worth grabbing in general. And then you got the Kiba 1 and 2 key. Now, one of the keys you get from a quest being Gunsmith Part 11. And the other one, you can either do a barter trade from Therapist or there is a spawn in the map. I haven't found it uh, in a... Well, I haven't found it inside the power station. I found it in the uh, underground one, which is no longer there. Uh, and there's now one inside Goshen and also one inside the power station. If you can find one, sweet. But you can pick these up pretty cheap on the flea market. The uh, Kiva store right now, on average, I'm probably making about 500,000 rubles from it. Between three and 500,000 because some of the items you find in there, people don't realize this, but you'll get like a Grail pistol grip and you can sell it on the flea market for like 60 to 80K. And there's a lot of other random items you find in there worth a lot of money. 
There is a chance for an AK to spawn in there, an AK-103 or 104. It's got a, it's all covered in red, but it also has a thermal sight on there too. If you find that one, the thermal sight sell between 500k and a million. So easy money there. If you do grab it, just grab it and then just leg it out of there. Just get away from it as quickly as possible. Um, yeah, worthwhile. All right, so the hashtag 11SR key. This one is for the uh, extract underneath the middle of the mall. So you go up to the top floor, you go to the the behind the burger shop into the bathroom you swap the toilet and you uh then can extract out at the bottom obviously the power needs to be on to be able to do that i think this key is worth having so if you get a massive hole in the middle of the map power's on and uh you feel like there's enough time and, and safety to extract that way there is no risk of an extract camper that way most people won't camp this extract does not use that often worth holding on to this one and having it on you if 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 it's up for 1.5 million it's like paying 100,000 rubles for an extract and inside there, you can get rollers and some other items that, and big coins and stuff. So it can actually pay for itself anyway. Um, I wouldn't just take this one as your common extract, but if you do run a lot of interchange, you should have this key on you. The hashtag 21WS key. This one does pay for itself if you want to go to the effort of looting it. The power needs to be on, which is on the other side of the map to it. Um, and you can go and, and loot it. The way of probably, I would highly suggest doing this is if you're, say, in idea and you're looting throughout there and then you head out to extract, notice the power is on and uh or you'll say you've gone from the middle of the map down the ramp and heading out underneath uh ollie i said ollie right not idea heading out from ollie uh and not idea but heading out through ollie or from underneath the generic uh ramp going down and go underneath ollie you can head over to the 21 um shipping container open it up and then get the money from in there there's troopers and other items you can get in there but if you're already full you won't get your money back because you need to loot everything to make a good bit of value out of it so there are some, some good loot in there, but I wouldn't suggest this being a priority key. Lastly, the map to talk about is factory. Um, I would not go into a factory raid without a factory key. It gives you two more extracts. It's just an extra option to get out of there if you're in trouble. And um, if you're someone's extract camping the main extract, it's just a headache. Because uh, sometimes if you if you get a bit unlucky, you, you'll bounce a grenade wrong, you'll waste a grenade, and you won't be able to get him out of there. So it just gives you the other option to run out the other side of the map. And they're generally pretty cheap, 55 to 60k rubles. And you might already have one from going into customs. So uh, I take this one into customs with me as well as factory. You should definitely be picking one up if you uh, if you can afford it and taking it into factory. One of those keys that you definitely should have. All right, guys, this is a pretty long video. Uh, there's a lot to talk about, and I would like to keep as much detail as I can for you guys so you have an informed decision on what keys are worthwhile and why you should be getting them. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, please, if you've listened at this point, please write a comment down below. Uh, tell us what you liked, what you didn't like. If constructive criticism is always appreciated. But on top of that, it does help out with the YouTube algorithm by commenting and liking the video. So any YouTube video you ever like, um, please do like them. It does really help out with the discoverability. And if you've uh, found my videos useful, consider it subscribing and, and notification bell. Just subscribing as well is, is just as great um, because it helps me get to a million subs. And it'd be cool to get that plaque one day. Um, besides that, guys, I do stream on Twitch. So feel free to hit me up on Twitch for any questions. I do that every day of the week. Uh, and lastly, guys... I'll see you next time.